So in at number four is Gidley. And it's, it's a bit of a strange one really because it might be considered a bit of a non-event because previous uh, to Gidley, we planned to do a, a wild camp on the, on the Brecon Beacons. Where are we today, Nate? We're in the Beacons. The beacons. beacons. Not the Breckens, the Beacons. We're on the Black Mountain, not on the Black Mountain. At the foot of the Black Mountain. We're yeah. going to go up and do some uh, mountain hiking and wild camping. And uh, we wanted to camp on a mountain desperately, so we'd gone back to the Brecon Beacons. We was anxious to get out and do this winter wild camp, and we were putting a lot of pressure on ourselves. Got absolutely trashed and annihilated by the weather. We can't even stand up. I think we spent more time travelling that day than we did actually on the mountain. <laughs> That's Maru. Yeah. <laughs> this is our Maru. This is our Maru moment. So close, but yet so far. So the next time we're both a bit. Look, we've tried this camping on mountains. Uh, it's a costly. It's time consuming. Let's just take it back to the summit of nothing roots. How we used to just meet up and have a walk. Gidley was just sort of a, you know, it's a beautiful little last minute thing. But there wasn't really a lot of navigation. Although we were looking at the maps, you know, it's quite laid back. I found a, a route online, printed it out. The weather was great. The real moody sky, but sunlight. So the moor was this golden, crispy golden colour. And we were sort of experimenting with a bit of photography. I'd bought a new lens that I wanted to try out. After a bit of walking, we come to the Squirrel Hill Stone Circle. So the Squirrel Stone Circle was a massive stone circle. It was quite impressive. Immediately, because there's no time pressure, it's like, you know what? Let's set the tripod up, take a few shots, experiment with the cameras. So all of a sudden he's taking photos and that. It didn't niggle me, because we had all the time in the world, but what did niggle me is that when we go out walking, he f***ing storms off ahead, come on, come on. Uh, today, he's, he's all right, I'm waiting for him everywhere, because he's got his, his camera now, so we're allowed to wait around and take time. We went up Thornworthy Tour, and on the top of Thornworthy Tour, we were able to have a view out over Farnworthy Woods and the lake within Farnworthy, which is somewhere where we've been previously trying to take in some of the Peakery High Points. At this point, I think I tried to do some or portrait photography with Trev. He's got this camera in my face, it's like, oh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's ugly. I reckon that's quite a good shot. He's got good isolation against the background. Well, that's what my teachers said. I've got good isolation against my background. <laughs> I didn't realise prior to this point, but Trev had always been told that he had great isolation against his background, which is something that we discovered that I never knew that day. It's not news to me, you know. When we came off of uh, Thornworthy Tour, there was a brief stint where we decided we were going to take in another stone, uh, or another sort of prominent stone that wasn't actually on our route, and uh, we did sort of deviate off the route briefly wander into some bog and, uh, and and get a little bit wet underfoot. It got pretty hairy there for a while. It was it was not just boggy, it was proper marshland. The ground shook. Yeah, we've uh, walked ourselves into a bog here. I was only thinking sort of ten minutes ago how God it's not been that boggy today. <laughs> But that was the only sort of bit of trouble we had all day. Then we went up to Gidley Tour, which was a, a tour in the middle of this woods, and it was quite strange. And sort of there was a nice little walk through some woodland, you know, which is something we don't normally do. It just sort of generally ends up open moorland, twisted ankles, getting soaked, walking into a bog, getting angry, and then feeling destroyed at the end of the day. It was dry, it was clear, and uh, yeah, you know, it was just a beautiful day up on the moors. And that's why it's my number four.